How's it going, everybody? It's your boy Ty underscore drums here, and you guys are watching Wandering Alcoholics Reviews. Bringing you guys another comparison video. This is the third place video to determine which of these drinks is the bronze medalist, which one is not the least favorite, and which one is the least favorite. So, we're going to go ahead and compare the watermelon to the pineapple flavors here. Both of these are 5% ABV and both are 100 calories, only two grams of sugar, only 20 milligrams of sodium, and only four carbs. Very, very healthy for you guys. Er, two grams of carbs, actually, not even four. Very, very easy on the diet, very good. Um, the thing is, both of these actually are very similar in the pack. As it turns out, um, these are both basically like, they kind of have that sugary artificial sweetness to it, but also a bit of a creaminess to the aftertaste. The watermelon kind of is like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, and the pineapple's kind of like a pina colada in the aftertaste. But both have a very light flavor to them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start drinking these. Let's start comparing the pack here. Well, I was able to get that one by myself. Nice. They smell very good, though. All right, let's start with the watermelon here, skull. Yeah, this is really damn good. The watermelon flavor is super solid. And it's just a really nice, like, juicy, but still semi-sweet flavor, like a Jolly Rancher, which is really the first thing that came to my mind during the previous comparison. And before, I, um, I was thinking of what that kind of flavor would be like, uh, and I didn't think of Jolly Rancher at first. I almost thought of like a bubblegum kind of flavor for the sweetness. And it's very interesting with the juiciness of the watermelon, um, but it does remind me, yeah, of like a, like a Jolly Rancher kind of sweetness. Um, that also is very watery and refreshing too, which I like with the watermelon because when you bite into a watermelon, it's decently sweet, but very watery, very juicy, very refreshing. And it definitely emanates that when drinking this Happy Dad Seltzer. Very, very good. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the pineapple. This is another decent one too. Very juicy and refreshing. The body is very similar. With the pineapple though, you have that slight tart from the pineapple flavor and a little bit of creaminess from the pina colada, which is what I feel like is what the aftertaste gets to. That sweetness that lingers kind of goes to the end and kind of gives it that pina colada kind of taste, which I think I, think I kind of like a bit. Um, both of these are decent, I think at best, but still overall, I think it's pretty good. Especially on a hot day. I mean, right now it's not day, it's nighttime. Otherwise, I'd be outside drinking these, like as you guys have noticed. Um, when it, the weather's good, I like to go out and review these. And once I've drank enough, kind of just chill. And then, you know, once it's nighttime, I feel like drinking again. Come back and do these reviews here. So, yeah, basically, these are great. I'd love to drink these during the day, during the hot days to quench my thirst. But, you know, we're filming this at night. So, here we are. Let's go ahead and start with the comparison process. I'm going to start with the flavor, go into the body, and if we need to, go into the final rating, which is my opinion, and also the consistency. Starting things off with the flavor, this is actually a tough one. Um, it's really tough to determine which I like a little bit more. Is it the pina colada or is it the watermelon flavor? Let's go ahead and drink these and find out. Overall, I would say this gets like, honestly, to me, I feel like this would get, um, it's tough because the pineapple to me is really good because of the juiciness and the fact that the flavor lasts a bit more, whereas the watermelon has a bit more of a defined sweetness to it. So to me, I think that 
you know, if I were to choose which one would be the better flavor, I'd have to go ahead and give it to the pineapple one here. The pineapple one feels like a more natural flavor uh, to me. It's a bit more enjoyable, and I think that it's a bit more of a long-lasting flavor than the watermelon with that kind of sweetness that comes in. The watermelon sweetness is a little more artificial than the pineapple's natural flavor, with the pina colada going more with the flavor scheme as opposed to having just a artificial sweetener being dumped on top of the flavor. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the body round here. The body round of this one, I would say, is very similar. These both have the almost exact same juicy, refreshing body. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna go ahead and move on to the consistency here. And we're basically going to decide this based off of the consistency and also my personal opinion for the routes. Because, like for this time in this specific series doing these comparisons these are two drinks that are pretty much identical oh the hiccups they're pretty much identical in the body I'll say that so it's tough to really say which one's better when they're exactly the same right so let's just go ahead and rate it on the consistency let's start with the pineapple once again I feel like the pineapple stays good for longer and I feel like it changes over time. It's not as pronounced in terms of the body. There's not as much of a staticky kind of mouth feel. It's very slight with this one, of course, but it feels even more juicy and refreshing and overall just better to drink. And on top of that, um, it's just pretty damn good. Um, and I like the flavor overall. It's pretty nice. Um, going into the watermelon one, though, let's go ahead and have that. The watermelon has a bit more of that staticky mouthfeel to it, a bit more seltzery than the pineapple, and I would say it's not as enjoyable. And I feel like this is the time where we can point out the winner of this specific round and the winner of this one in general, that being the pineapple flavor. There we go. This one just has a smoother mouthfeel. It has a better flavor that's longer lasting and easier to drink, and it just doesn't have as much of that staticky, seltzery kind of mouthfeel like the watermelon does. And definitely, I'd put the pineapple in third, even a close second, um, right behind the other two drinks that we're gonna review tomorrow, that being the wild cherry and the lemon lime. Um, I do think the Happy Dad flavors are pretty good, though. Um, it's definitely kind of a, 180 from what we tried in the last few weeks, those being the Modelo Aguas Frescas, the Cayman Jacks, stuff that's a lot more flavorful. But this is more in line with like the ranch water and um, the other kind of lighter flavored drinks like that. But there's a bit more of a presence here to this. I feel like the Happy Dad Seltzer is great for people that want to, you know, watch what they're consuming if they want like less calories in their drink. 100 calories per can of this stuff here is very very good also two grams of sugar only per can and um, two carbs two grams of carbs per can is very good so I definitely recommend this if you want to you know still maintain your diet and have a nice buzz so with that being said folks be sure to tune in tomorrow at noon keep your seeing balls peeled for the first place comparison video between the wild cherry and the lemon lime it's gonna be absolutely solid be sure to tune in for that and until next time, folks, I've been Ty Underscore Drums signing out for Wandering Alcoholics Reviews. Be sure to pillage responsibly, my friends, and skull. Take care, everybody.